Welcome back to Let's Play The Evil Within, Burning Dog fans. I made it through that stealth sequence and right into another one. The Keeper is around, and I do not want to get his attention. Thought I heard footsteps, but they weren't as heavy as his. Ammo check. Bad. Oh. What does that say? The Prestige Hotel. Uh... Crimson City. And then the rest of it just seems to be little blurry lines. Unless I need glasses. Kidman! Are you in there? And then you see the, the Keeper holding up her lifeless body. Yes, it's me! Flopping her all around. <laughs> Jesus Christ, why does that even come to mind? Uh, what is wrong with me? <laughs> okay, you know what I don't see out here? I can't stand up. Okay, there we go. That was weird. You know what I don't see around here? Is, uh... Safes. So that's promising. I do have grenades. Guess I better climb down. So I'd better hurl myself to my death. Holy shit, that man is dead! Someone call the police! Wait, I am the police. I did notice when I was, you know, zooming in on him for the lols that, uh, there is a weapons case next to him, so that's interesting. Yoink. Oh, God. Shit. Fuck. I'm trying to figure out if there's a reason I want to go out on those girders! No. No, oh, it's kind of hard to miss that particular case. I don't feel as smart anymore. Can't open that. Sick. It's nice having a gun I don't need to reload, isn't it? What does the designation Magnum even mean? I don't know shit about guns. Is it just, uh, guns of a specific caliber? Or, like, guns with a certain range of calibers? I've heard of a 44 Magnum and a 357 Magnum. I think it was 357. It was 350-something. A door opens. No, it doesn't. <laughs> you got me! Very funny! No, no, not that way. No. <laughs> okay, I'm here you. Haven't you figured it out yet? Oh, he loves tormenting others. Has to let them know he has Oh, it's you, hand. isn't it? You're Ruvik. He's out the bait, gets his victim all worked up. His unholy traps. When it was happening to me, I could see what was going on. I could see it, but I couldn't turn back. I had to know. I had to know the truth, and he knew it. Detective Castellanos. Lady, level with me. Am I going crazy? Oh, yes. If one wishes to survive, one would do well to consider who they trust. That is not an answer. One of these days, there's going to be a reason for me to come in here. Oh, new poster. Missing. Joseph. Shit. 
Missing Crimson City Police Detective Joseph Oda. Disappeared while returning home. Several eyewitnesses claim to have seen him searching Crimson City for someone. Huh. Is that the first time they've actually said his last name? Hmm. If that's the case, maybe we've been in, uh, what do they call it? Or it's an acronym. I don't remember. The, uh, the virtual, the mindscape this entire time. Maybe it wasn't a matter of, uh, Ruvik sticking us in after we, uh, arrived at the hospital. Maybe us arriving at the hospital is just the beginning of the dream. You know, they say dreams always begin in the middle without any explanation. Alright, I risked the Keeper falling on my ass for this one, so it better be worth it. Yeah, I'll take that. I should have used that against the Keeper when I was struggling against him, but, uh... I tend to only remember the guns I have on my shortcuts when I, uh, panic. Hey! I'm nearly there! Sweet. I saw that bottle and I was actually about to say, Hey, I don't suppose you've got like 5,000 brain juice lying around? And then I saw the bottle and I was like, wait, do they, is that actually... Uh, yeah, that's the one. There we go. Tatiana, huh? Honestly, I thought, even after I started learning that, oh, you know, the, the people in here are real people, I started thinking that she was just a construct. She just represents safety or whatever. Oh, the cracks go all the way onto the wall. Weird. So did these guys get caught in the traps and then just starve to death? The Keeper was dragging away that one dead guy, which gave me the impression he likes to take his uh, victims somewhere once they're dead. Don't ask me why or for what purpose, but uh, I guess it was the same thing. But uh, hey, that's what I was hoping for. I didn't notice that before. One of them is green and one of them is blue. Suggested to me early on that there were uh, Crimson City's equivalent, like the, you know, the, the pharmaceuticalized version of the uh, the famous green herbs from uh, the Resident Evil franchise. There we go. Uh huh. Were there blue herbs? I don't remember. I don't think so. I think in Resident Evil 4, at least, it was, uh... Green herbs... Uh, red herbs... And, uh... Yellow herbs. I don't remember what the red herbs did. Yes, I... Fuck. Boy, howdy, that would have been embarrassing. Yep, 
Yeah, I know. Huh. I was right. I took a gamble, and I was right. The guy was far enough away that he didn't notice. Facing. Oh. I thought those were the lights on mines. Maybe he is mines. Okay, I feel like that guy is going to start beeping and blow up when I get close to him. So I just shoot him now and try and set them off? Damn it, I couldn't stand up and run away fast enough. That was dumb. It was really close, obviously. What? No! I... God damn it. You know what? Uh... Actually, this might be before the uh, manual save I did there. No, no, it's right here. I just went so terribly, so quickly that... Since the autosave was right there, I thought I would try and do that better. Let me check what did I get there. Uh huh. There were two of those down here, weren't there? No, I found one upstairs and used it to restore my health, that's right. Nothing this time. Easy come, easy go. Okay, and what about down here? Alright, I have no idea which one of these I'm supposed to go in. This feels like a storage room, but you know. There's all kinds of trash in here, come on guys. Even I can see the sign. Those were just my footsteps. In, in fairness, I'm not being paranoid. The whole world really is out to get me while I'm in here. Oh, hey. Bitchin'. Bitchin'. Double bitchin'. That's a great day. Is that an ad for a dog fight? What the fuck? Scudder versus Blackie. The Hound Pits. What the fuck? Wait a minute! The Hound Pits? 
Wager on the most vicious hounds in the city as they rend one another by something and fang. I think this is a Bethesda game, right? I'm trying to remember if Bethesda did Dishonored, because I think that's a, an ad from Dishonored. Actually, you know what? I will zoom in there. Uh, weird. I, I'm pretty sure, at least, that there was an area in the game that was called, like, the Hound Pits Pub or something like that. Yeah, I'm th that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's an Easter egg. My Fragment 25, the seaside. Oh, come on, I can't open that cabinet. Would you believe I'm not overly surprised that that worked this time? anything in there I could collect anyway. Oh, no, 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 there is a jar there. When I was opening those drawers back in the storage room, I was desperately trying to think of any of the items I would collect in Dishonored to make a joke about one of them being in there, but I honestly couldn't think of anything. Stuff like really obvious stuff, like, you know, bullets. It's been a while since I played Dishonored. I've got Dishonored 2 in my library. I should play that at some point, but, uh, at the moment, I'm a bit, uh, I'm good on, uh, sneaky games. I enjoyed uh, the sneaking a lot better in that game, too. First stealth game I ever actually enjoyed, if you're uh, new to the channel. Joseph? I actually managed to get the, uh, the famous Clean Hands achievement for making it all the way through the campaign without killing anyone, and I only needed to load about a hundred million times in order to do it. The low light of those still being, the one that still that I still remember so vividly to this day, when uh I learned that if you knock a guy out, you are responsible for whatever happens to him after that. Or you're considered responsible by the game. Because, so if you, I think if you uh, knock a guy out and then you drop him in a puddle, uh, he will drown, and it will consider that to be your fault. At one point, I knocked a guy out, and then one of those, uh, what are they called, weepers? The zombie-like guys with the disease wandered in and fucking ate him, and uh, that was considered my fault. Not zombies like these guys. I'm sure they would drop with a single shot to the head. They were just people who'd gone mad from uh, a degenerative illness. You know, less Dawn of the Dead and more 28 Days Later, except they were still of the slow shambly variety. He's got a semi-auto. Oh, no! Hi. Oh, God, 
Now what? Now the timer goes off, and we're at the end of the episode, and I just got a checkpoint, so I'm going to leave it exactly here. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play the Evil Within. When we, uh... Try and save Joseph from the grasp of the horrible Keeper. Later!